Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the OPR Front Stabilizer Bar Link Kit, fitting all 09 and newer two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive F-150s, excluding the Raptor models. Now, this is going to be a great option for you if you're looking to fix up your suspension a little bit and improve on the design at the same time. Now, OPR is a great company. They've been making great stuff for a long time, and it stands for Original Parts Replacement. Now, that might not mean OEM stuff, but OPR is a great replacement for the stuff that comes from the factory on your F-150. So if you're hearing some clunking from the front end, maybe a little bit more body roll, some loose steering, it could be your sway bar end link that is the culprit. Now it's usually not the link that fails, but usually the rubber boot loses all of its grease, whether it's from a tear, some grit getting in there, stuff like that that can cause your sway bar end link to go. And here's where we start to get into the improvements with our new OPR end link. First off, those ball joints on our new end link, they are gonna have grease fittings on there. So if for any reason they do start to lose grease, you're gonna add some more with the Zerk fittings and keep them nice and lubricated, which in theory should extend the life a little bit longer than the factory end link would last. Now, that's again, usually not what fails, but that little bit of extra durability, that little bit of peace of mind is nice. So we get the idea here. This is going to improve on the design over that factory end link, but keep that same factory build quality and the price is definitely gonna reflect that. Now, I did some research earlier, the Motorcraft ones, which if you didn't know, Motorcraft is owned by Ford. That's their parts department, basically. It's gonna drop in right around that $35 mark. Our OPR here is gonna come in right around 45 bucks, but that's exactly where I'd expect it to land with all the design improvements on there. And if you're looking for a great sway bar end link replacement, this is going to be a great option for you. So let me show you how this is going to install on your F-150, right? This is gonna be really, really easy, assuming your sway bars aren't too rusty. This should take you all in all, I think an hour at most to hit both sides. I'm gonna give it a one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install, we're gonna need an impact, a ratchet, an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench will help you a ton here, but in a pinch, you can get away with the 18 millimeter wrench as well a nine millimeter wrench, 18, nine, and eight millimeter sockets, as well as a small pry bar. So this install here, it's gonna be really, really simple. You can get this done really quickly with just a couple of basic hand tools. We're gonna start with the 18 millimeter wrench here. Ratcheting wrench will help you a ton with this install. We're gonna be removing a nut on a ball joint though, and ball joints do spin. And if that does happen to you, you can hold it still with an eight millimeter socket. But in our case here, this truck has been apart plenty of times. Ours is not going to get stuck, so this nut should pop right off. So that's one side done. Now we're just gonna move to the bottom and do the same thing. Since the top one spun off so easily, we're gonna try to get this one with the impact gun. And again, if this ball joint does spin on you, you can hold on to the end of the stud here with that eight millimeter socket. Okay, so you saw it happen right there. Um, this started to spin on us a little bit. So what we're gonna do, bring in the socket, bring in the ratcheting wrench and get this off. So now we have one side completely taken apart. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We already got that caught up off camera, but what that's going to allow you to do is swing that sway bar up and out of the way. I'm gonna use a pry bar for a little bit of help. And with that up, out comes our end blade. So now that we have our factory end link off the truck, I figured now would be the perfect time for us to sort of stop down put the two next to each other on the table and point out some of the key differences here. Now, the most obvious difference between these two, it's gonna be that grease fitting on our new APR. These are completely lacking off the factory end link, and if that factory end link has gone on you, 
Those grease fittings are gonna be a great way for you to keep the new end link nice and lubricated and make sure you get the most life out of it possible. So our new OPR end link is going to stand up to the test of time way better than that factory end link would. Now, one more thing that's not as obvious here the actual shaft diameter of our new OPR is going to be a little bit thicker than factory, about four millimeters. It's not like that shears commonly or fails often, but the extra durability is definitely good to know you have. Now, other than those differences, these are gonna be really, really similar. Another thing to note here, the ends of the studs on the ball joint is going up from eight millimeters to nine millimeters. So if you need to hold that still, you will need a nine millimeter socket and the boots on our new OPR are blue. But other than that, these are really, really similar in their design. Now, before we drop in our new OPR, one more thing I did want to mention is this does not feel lubricated out of the box. So you want to make sure you grease this thing up good before you drop it in your truck. But without any further ado, let's take this back to our truck. We already have some nuts on there. We're going to remove those, drop this in place and get it tightened down. And that is gonna be easy as just dropping in that end link. Now, one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna line that up with our actual sway bar. And you wanna make sure you have the other side lined up as well so that when you crank the sway bar down, both of them get seated like so. Now, you don't have to do the other side. These are sold as a set of one, but most likely if you have this apart, now's as good a time as any to replace both of them. So I'm just gonna thread on our nuts here and then we can tighten them down. So again, we're gonna come in with the 18 millimeter wrench just like factory, but we're up in our socket size to hold that ball joint still to a nine millimeter. And what I'm actually gonna do here is bring out the wrench instead. Now the bottom is going to be similar, except we're gonna ditch the ratcheting wrench for the regular wrench and hop back to the socket just because the ball joint itself is a little bit easier to spin than the nut. And you can see why, as this just gets tighter and tighter, you kind of get into that pocket there and it just gets harder and harder to reach. Now guys, that is gonna do it for me and the OPR front stabilizer bar link kit, fitting all 09 and newer two wheel drive and four wheel drive F-150s, excluding the Raptor models. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, keep it right here at American Trucks for all things F-150.